In this video, we'll learn how to delete data from a database using Entity Framework Core in a Blazor web app in .NET 8. Please note that this video is the last video in my playlist where I show how to perform all the CRUD operations in Blazor in .NET 8. Let's add a method to the iBook repository interface for performing the delete operation. So let's say task delete by id async int id. Now let's implement that method in the infrastructure project. So open simplebookcatalog.infrastructure and expand repositories and double click the book repository class. Let's implement the interface. First we would like to get the book by id. So say var book equals await get by id async and pass in id. Now check if book is not null. In which case we say context.books.remove book await context.save changes async. Now let's work on the presentation layer. Open simple book catalog project and expand components folder and double click bookcard.razor. We would like to add a button to delete a book. So after the edit link, define a button element with the text delete. Now when the button is clicked, we want to show a dialog to confirm deleting a book. So let's set the onclick razor directive attribute to open confirm dialog and set the class to btn, btn danger, shadow none and ms3. Now let's define the open confirm dialog method in the code block below. So say private void open confirm dialog. Now let's create a private boolean field for showing the dialog. So say private bool show confirm dialog and within the open confirm dialog method set show confirm dialog equals true. Now let's create a reusable razor component for the delete confirmation dialog. So in solution explorer right click the components folder and select add razor component and name the component delete confirm dialog and click add. Let's define a boolean parameter for this component to show the dialog. Next in razor markup, let's use razor syntax to check if show is true. Then display a div element with class confirm dialog container. Inside that let's create another div with a class confirm dialog and create a h3 heading with the text are you sure and after the heading create a div with a class dflex flex row justify content end and mt3 and inside this div let's create a button with the text cancel set on click razor directive attribute to on cancel which we will create in just a bit and set the class attribute to btn btn secondary shadow none and then create a button with the text delete and set the on click razor directive attribute to on ok and set the class attribute to btn btn danger shadow none and ms3 now i would like to inform the parent component when the cancel and delete buttons have been clicked so let's go to the code block and define a public property of type even callback call it on cancel and decorate it with a parameter attribute Similarly, define another property of type event callback called onOK and decorate it with a parameter attribute. Now let's style this component. Right click the components folder and select add new item. Search for CSS. Choose style sheet and name the component delete confirm dialog.razor.css and click add. Now we want to style the confirm dialog container and confirm dialog divs. So use a class selector, say dot confirm dialog container within curly braces, set the position to absolute, top to zero, right to zero, bottom to zero, left to zero, set the min height to 100vh, set display to flex, flex direction to column, Set align items to center and background color to RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5 
and finally set Z index to 2000. Similarly, let's style the confirm dialog div, say dot confirm dialog within curly braces, display flex, flex direction column, justify content space between, set min width to 20 rem, padding to 2 rem, border radius to 1 rem, background color white, margin top 1.5 rem and finally let's set position to fixed. Now let's use the delete confirm dialog component inside bookcard.razor. Set the show parameter to show confirm dialog and set the on cancel parameter to cancel delete which we will create in just a bit. Likewise set the on ok parameter to delete book. Let's create the cancel delete method. Go to the code block and say private void cancel delete and inside this method let's set show confirm dialog equals false so this will effectively close the delete confirm dialog and below let's create another method say private async task delete book to delete the book we can use the book repository so let's go to the top and inject ibook repository and call it repository and also we want to navigate to the root url so let's inject navigation manager call it navigation now go to the code block and inside the delete book method say await repository dot delete by id async pass in book dot id next set show confirm dialog equals false and finally say navigation dot navigate to pass in a slash Let's run the app and try deleting a book. We see the delete confirmation dialog does not show up. This is because our application is using static server rendering by default and our book card component is rendered on the server and there is no interactivity for the book card component either on the server or on the client. So that's why when the delete button on the book card component is clicked, nothing happens. Now we can make the book card component interactive by going to list.razor and applying a render mode at the page level. So at the top say add render mode interactive server. So this makes the entire page interactive using interactive server rendering via the Blazor server hosting model. So all the components on the page including the book card component will be made interactive. Now alternatively we can apply a render mode at the component level by setting the add render mode razor directive attribute to interactive server. Now let's try running the app. Let's click the delete button. We see the confirmation dialog shows up and if we click the cancel button, the dialog closes. Let's click delete once again and click the delete button. We see the book gets removed from the app. Now one last thing, we can make the delete confirm dialog more generic by declaring a nullable property of type render fragment and call it child content and decorating that property with the parameter attribute. Now in the razor markup here at the top, instead of the heading, we can render child content using razor syntax. Now we can rename the delete confirm dialog dot razor component to simply confirm dialog. Now let's go to the book card component and rename delete confirm dialog to simply confirm dialog. And instead of a self closing tag, let's use opening and closing tags. And as a child content, Define a H3 heading with the text Do you want to delete book at book.id? This way, the consumer of the confirm dialog component is free to set the message text. Now let's run the app and try deleting a book once again. We see the new message pops up. Let's click the delete button. We see the book got removed from the app. So that's it for this video. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching.